Hello there guys, and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a really awesome shotgun build that I've made for what I'd say is probably my favorite shotgun uh, in Destiny 2 right now. This is the Comedian, uh, more specifically the Adept version. You don't need the Adept version, so don't worry, you don't have to run Grandmasters to finish this build. Uh, what you do need is a Comedian with Subsistence. Now the reason why you need this is because... Um, it is the only special weapon in the game that has subsistence, and it is pretty broken in PvE, uh, especially with this build that I will be showing you. So make sure you have a comedian with subsistence, and then you can get the build rolling. So, with the weapon out of the way, uh, I will be using Devour for this, so we are unkillable, and trust me, we will be unkillable for this. Um, it's actually pretty insane. Uh, yeah, if you thought Devour was good with whatever you were using before, wait until you get a subsistence shotgun. It's gonna get even better. So, with the weapon and the subclass out of the way, let's get to the juicy part, the mods. Uh, so, kicking off with the mods, we are gonna be using Heavy Handed. This is actually mandatory for the build, you will 100% need this. It is phenomenal. Um, basically what it does is while you're surrounded, by enemies i'm pretty sure it's three enemies and up um every kill will give you ammo from thin air uh so let's say you use one shot to kill an enemy it'll give you one shot back i'm pretty sure it always gives you one shot for every one kill um so of course since we have subsistence you will shoot one shot kill the enemy you'll get a bullet out of thin air and then a bullet will go to your chamber for free uh obviously it's not going to be bullet because it's a shotgun but you get the point it's pretty op um you basically have infinite ammo just from those two working together alone but we're going to add a few more things here and there to make it even better so next up on our mod list we have extra reserves so pretty much what this does is while you're charged and you get a kill with any void source um, and so far we are using Void Walker and Comedian, which is also Void. Um, any, if you get a kill with any Void Source, basically it has a chance of dropping a small uh, special ammo finder brick. You know, the, you know the little ones that give you a little bit of ammo. Um, the reason why I have this is to fuel the infinite ammo surge even more. If Heavy Handed somehow fails, this will kick in and basically help you get more ammo where you've lost it. Um, so this is just like another bonus infinite ammo mod that we have in the build. Now to get charged, I am using quick charge. Uh, the reason why I went for this and not something like, uh, taking charge, even though anything would have worked, is because you also get ever ready with this, which basically increases the ready speed of your shotguns, um, and a few other weapons, but we're only using shotguns, so... Yeah, that helps the shotgun, um, and it's just it's just great. It means that when you're reloading or when you're switching weapons or whatever, it just the weapon gets up faster, ready to shoot again. So obviously, with a weapon that we're probably gonna just keep on shooting anyway, this is just nice. You can just become charged and just have basically a hundred handling for free. It's really really good. Um, you can use anything though, you could use any charge source here and you'll pretty much be fine because uh, we have another mod that's going to help our charges and that's Stacks on Stacks. Now what Stacks on Stacks does is for every charge uh, that you gain, you gain a second charge on top of that. So let's say I kill three enemies uh, with quick charge, I become charged once but because I have stacks on stacks i become charged twice for the cost of what it would have taken to get one charge so yeah you get you get two charges basically for free and then you can use that on extra reserves or heavy-handed if you're into that um i don't recommend that but you could do that and i also have radiant light just for the stats because i am running triple 100 uh we're using recov for rifts and just to be more able to survive i guess we have devour but recover is always a brilliant stat then we have discipline to help with uh grenades and using devour and then we also have melee for using devour on top of that so we basically have all of our panic devour options and more survivability 
Now, finally, we have the exotic. Um, I kind of just ignored this for a bit and went for the mods just because it isn't mandatory. I'm just using it because I'm probably going to be pro uh, proccing Devourer a lot and using grenades a lot. So it's just nice for my teammates to get a bit of grenade regeneration for free and for my grenades to do more damage if I decide to throw them. Honestly, the exotic is completely optional. Um, you could use whatever you want. I decided to go with Verity's Brow because I never use Verity's Brow. Um, yeah, pretty much at all. So I just decided it'd be pretty cool to use it for this build because it actually does help quite a lot. Um, you know, energy weapons kills boost your grenade damage and regen. So it's like, okay, well, I'm using an energy weapon, so I may as well. And with everything else, it kind of just works. So yeah, that's the build. Um, pretty straightforward. You're completely invincible. You have infinite ammo. And you have a bunch of other bonuses to top it off. And you also have a little bit of support for your teammates, which is great. I probably will have a bit of gameplay at the start or at the end showing off the build in action. But let me know what you think of the build. Um, and let me know if it could be improved in any way. Also, just quickly, before I end this off, yes, I have 8 int, I know, um, but you don't need intellect for this build. Uh, the Vortex Nova Bomb is kind of meh, and it really doesn't, it doesn't matter. You don't need Nova Bomb. I have Thresh on my shotgun, so that makes up for it, but yeah, you don't really need your super on this build. It does nothing, so with that, hopefully enjoy, and adios.